These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for May the 3rd, 2020. This week's blog post is on The Sculpture of Stranahan by Frederick McManus in Prospect Park. McManus did two of my favorite sculptures, the Bacante with Infant Fawn at the Metropolitan Museum and the Nathan Hale at City Hall Park. You can see my recent book, Artist Entrepreneurs, for more about McManus. Second recommendation, photographs by Omar Z. Robles of ballet dancers in New York City streets. They're really breathtaking, and it's a lot of fun to imagine what music ought to be playing as they do these things. Third recommendation, Henry Lawson's The Men We Might Have Been. Lawson died in 1922, so the poem has to be before that, obviously. Hat tip to Steve B. for this one. When God's wrath cloud is o'er me, a frighting heart in mind, when days seem dark before me and days seem black behind, those friends who think they know me, who deem their insight keen, they ne'er forget to show me the man I might have been. He's rich and independent, or rising fast to fame. His bright star is ascendant, the country knows his name. His houses and his gardens are splendid to be seen. His faults the wise world pardons, the man I might have been. His fame and fortune haunt me, his virtues wave me back. His name and prestige daunt me when I would take the track. But you, my friend true-hearted, God keep our friendship green. You know how I was parted from all I might have been. But what avails the ache of remorse or weak regret? We'll battle for the sake of the men we might be yet. We'll strive to keep in sight of the brave, the true, and clean, and triumph yet in spite of the men we might have been. The fourth recommendation this week is a pair of videos on analysis of music. DianeDurantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, Central Park, and my many other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL online or just email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantywriter.com. Thank you, as always, for listening.